hi guys my name is bumi i'm a youtuber based in lagos nigeria if this is your first time of visiting my channel you're welcome if you are a returning viewer welcome back welcome back welcome back thank you thank you thank you for returning so today i'm going to show you how to make yam porridge and fish in peppered sauce these are the ingredients needed for the yam porridge first off pepper seasoning cube salt crayfish palm oil and onion so you put your pot on fire with water and add salt so let it boil while you do other things over your pot so you take your yam slice it like so and cut it into bits so while we're at it you guys i have gist for you so my friend for those of you based in abuja you should be conversant with this area so my friend was robbed or rather her compound was robbed and eventually okay they went to the police but they couldn't do anything so eventually they, i don't know how they got the people that robbed them but they did and they found out that it was their next door neighbor the security guard of the next compound so when they found out they went to meet the they went back to the police station and told them that okay they found out though who stole who came to rob the compound and you will not believe what the police said nigerian police now as in the, i know they are incompetent but this was just the height they were like ah we cannot arrest him more that he's a notorious arm robber i'm not understanding is that not the main reason why you should arrest him because he's a notorious notorious arm robber like i don't get it anyways back to uh cooking short story short story so after peeling the yam and cutting it, you wash it and put it in the pot that was on the stove. So after about 10 to 12 minutes, you then turn in your oil. I like putting my oil early because I don't like the taste of palm oil or oil, raw oil in general. So I put it early for it to boil and then that taste goes away. So have you ever had an experience with the nigerian police i personally haven't please leave a comment below let me know your experience so after about five ten minutes because the yam i use is really soft you begin to add all your ingredients like pepper onion Mix monster. Mix monster. the crayfish the grounded crayfish and um i love crayfish a lot so I use ground, both grounded crayfish and I like to see crayfish in my food and the ungrounded one. Yeah. So you add all of that to the pot. So after adding all your ingredients, you stir it. Then at this point, the yam is almost cooked, even already cooked. But then I like my yam really, really soft, so I boil it extra. So after about like three to five minutes, you add your seasoning. Remember, you have put salt before, so all you have to do now is taste it for salt. So if the salt is not enough you add a little bit more salt but make sure you taste it trust me you have to taste it and leave it for about three to five minutes to simmer so you open it again and stir then begin to mash so that's it for the yam porridge so you can add anything you want to add like bomo diced meat fish anything you want to add to it i didn't add anything because i was going to have 
fish on the side so it wasn't i didn't think it was necessary putting all of that in the food yeah so yam porridge is ready enjoy i really like my yam porridge mashed as an extra mash that was why i let the yam cook for longer because i needed to be soft so i get to mash it easily for easy chewing well for me i don't like stressing myself when it comes to chewing so you can leave yours with blocks of yam or you can mash it like mine anyhow you want it that's fine so i'm going to show you how to make the fish in pepper sauce the ingredients are onion and pepper well pepper as the name implies fish then ginger and garlic i always like using ginger and garlic because i like the aroma and taste it brings to the food then i always use olive oil just because it's healthy so these are the ingredients you put it in your blender and blend so after blending i added this um tomato paste well this one is actually onion and pepper and i love pepper so i really don't mind and plus it's pepper sauce so i really don't mind i added it because of the color i wanted the color to be a bit darker since i did not add tomato i don't usually add tomato to my pepper sauce um so that the pepper would be you know yeah i'm a yoruba girl we love pepper so while i was doing this i put my frying pan on the stove to heat up a little bit like to dry the water because i always rinse my kitchen utensils before i use them so why for about one or two minutes so when it got dried i put in my oil then turned in the pepper mix so while it was heating i put in salt and seasoning basically that's all you need so i left it to simmer for about 10 minutes now how you know it's ready when you put the pepper sauce with the oil it mixes up together but then when it gets ready it separates you see the oil probably one side or on top depends on how much your oil is or but it will definitely separate you can tell me i don't use a lot of oil for well no exact reason i don't like too much oil so i get to but you know when it's ready so when it's ready you then put in your fish use your pepper sauce to cover it like put it around it and allow it to simmer to absorb the sweet sweet pepper sauce so that's it guys with your fish in peppered sauce so what you have to do next is serve it alongside the yam porridge trust me you can never go wrong with this meal it is easy to make and it is delicious thank you guys for watching my video please 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 leave a comment below so i know if you liked my video and also let me know about your experience with the nigerian police if you've had any kindly click on the like button and subscribe please subscribe to my channel thank you guys see you in my next video love you bye Shabby, you don't see Oluwani. Oluwani, Shabby, you don't see Oluwani. Oluwani, Shabby, you don't see Oluwani.